Welcome back to the commonly used Excel charts and functions video series. Today in lesson 18, we will cover count functions. All right, today we are going to cover five different count functions, which are highlighted in the blue text. And then to the left, we have a handbag sales data table, which we will use to work through each count function. Let's start with count blank. Count blank counts the number of cells that are blank or empty. So let's use count blank to count how many cells in the quantity column are blank. Let's type in our function and select it. We can see that the syntax is fairly simple. It just wants us to select our range. In this case, we are going to use the entire quantity column. We'll put a close bracket and then press enter. We can see that there is only one cell that the function has returned that is empty in the quantity column. And if we move to the left, we can verify that by this cell right here. So count A is actually the opposite of count blank. Instead of counting the number of empty cells, count A counts cells that have any sort of number, character, text, and so on in it. So let's type out our function, select it, and this time we will use the same range of the quantity column, and then press enter. You can see it returns nine cells that have numbers and characters in it. And if we verify that on the left hand side here, we can see that there are 10 cells in total in the quantity column. One is blank, so that means nine have some sort of characters or numbers or text in it. Now the count function only counts the number of cells that have numbers in it. So let's see what we get here. I'm going to select the quantity column again and then press enter. So we only have seven cells with numbers because it no longer is counting this text cell here and this character cell here. Now you may be interested in using a count function, but only with specific criteria. And that is where count if comes in. In this case, we are interested in looking at the number of cells in the quantity column that have a quantity greater than or equal to five. We can see the syntax starts off the same with the range. So let's select our quantity column and then we must input our criteria. You must always remember that criteria needs to have double quotations around it. So we'll start with a double quotation, go greater than or equal to five with an ending double quotation. We can see that there are six cells that meet that criteria. And if we move to the left here, we can double check that that is correct. If you have more than one selection criteria, you will have to use the count ifs function. In this case, we are looking for the number of orders with small and black handbags, so let's use count ifs. In this case, we'll have more than one selection ranges, so let's do the size column first. And remember, our criteria always goes in double quotations. Our second range will be the color column, and then black will go in double quotations as well. We can see that there are two cells that meet that criteria, and if we move to the left, we can count one, two cells that meet that criteria, which is correct. All right, so that concludes our lesson for today where we have learned five different count functions. In the next lesson, we will focus on the frequency function. Thank you for watching. See you next lesson.